Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, there's a different type of outbreak happening in Metro Vancouver. Residents and experts have noticed a surge in the population of a native species of moth. Right now, we're actually experiencing an, out experiencing an outbreak on the coast of Western Hemlock Looper and Phantom Hemlock Looper. The Western Hemlock Looper has been particularly noticeable around the North Shore, but lately they've been spotted all across the Lower Mainland. Photos and videos posted to social media show just how many of the moths are fluttering around. Within our management areas, um, you know, which spans from uh, from Capilano all the way over to Coquitlam, uh, we're certainly seeing them in great number. Um, you know, I've, I've certainly heard reports that they're occurring elsewhere in the Lower Mainland too, which is not unexpected given the high density of them up here in the North Shore forests. Both species of moss are native to the area and outbreaks happen periodically. The Western Hemlock Looper is currently in its second year of an outbreak. Well, with Western Hemlock Looper, the outbreaks are typically occur every 11 to 15 years. Um, with Phantom Hemlock Looper, our historical records are not really as accurate. Um, but the last, like last year, we saw numbers increasing, and it has been you know, more than a decade since we have seen an outbreak in the Lower Mainland. While the pesky insects may bug you, they won't sting, bite, or eat your clothes. And they're completely harmless. You know, it's it's okay if they get into people's homes, they're not gonna eat their sweaters or infest their food. In their caterpillar form, the moss feed on coniferous trees. We will expect to see some tree mortality from this outbreak. Um, it's totally normal. It's part of um, stand succession. Um, and you know, people will notice some dead trees or dying trees or impacted trees in their yards as well. And it's just a part of the outbreak. Fortunately, the outbreaks don't last more than three or four years. This is just sort of a natural uh, part of succession and it's really important for, you know, recycling of nutrients and, you know, allowing you know, suppressed trees to come up. So, you know, a lot of the tree mortality that we'll see, there are benefits to it. And there's good news if you're not a fan of moss. And by October, you'll pretty much, you know, the numbers will be so low, they'll have made it, they'll have laid their eggs and then they die. In North Vancouver, Miranda Fatour, City News.